All right, as most of you already know, patch 0.60, arguably the biggest patch in the history of DayZ, is coming very, very soon. So let's take a look at some things that we could expect to see in 0.6. Yes, that's right, another update to the HUD. So first up, let's take a look at some changes coming to the HUD. And if you don't know what the HUD is, it's basically everything you see on screen while you're playing the game. And because DayZ is the type of game that aims for a more immersive type of experience, you should expect to see some more minimalistic version of the HUD coming very soon. As you can see on screen here, this is an early concept of what the HUD could look like in 0.60. Uh, some other changes I'm expecting are the ability to easily turn off your server messages in the lower left hand corner, kind of similar to what they have right now, which is a great uh, a great addition definitely for content creators like myself. And, uh, and I'm also expecting the ability to turn off your HUD for that ultra realistic immersive type experience in, in DayZ. All right, and speaking of immersion, very soon we should expect to hear some new ambient noise additions, which should give even more of a realistic experience while you're playing standalone. Okay, next up is something I've been really excited about for a long time, which is the possible addition of the Tizzy military base. Which if you don't know what this is, it's a big new military base, which as you can see on screen here, would be located just northwest of Nove Petrovka. And what's unique about Tizzy and what separates it from the other military bases in Chernars is the fact that it's still infected with the virus. The only way you can enter the base actually is with a hazmat suit on, as you can see here on the screen. Um, and also as you can see here is an artist rendering. You've got dead bodies everywhere and a real uh, you know, good post-apocalyptic feel to it. Also take a little look up in that that top left hand corner up there you see that little helicopter up there well that's what we're going to talk about next which is the long awaited first helicopter in daisy standalone the little bird Really the last time we heard about the helicopter was in a dev blog where they mentioned it was pretty much all done and ready for experimental. The devs also mentioned that the northeast airfield could be turned into a civilian airport which uh, most likely would be the spawn points for, for all the parts that you need to repair the helicopter, kind of much like the vehicles in uh, standalone right now. All right, next up is something that's been talked about for a very long time in Daisy Standalone, which is the implementation of predator animals. Back in December of 2015, the Daisy dev team teased us with a little bit of a video uh, showcasing these mangy little predators, and you should expect to see these implemented very soon in the near future. Also, keep in mind, they do hunt in packs, so unless you're heavily armed, I don't think you wanna try to take these on by yourself. <laughs> Now, let's talk about some of the new weapons we should expect to see very soon in Daisy Standalone. First up, we have the latest submachine gun edition, which is the Uzi. Next, for all you snipers out there, we're gonna get to shoot a brand new bolt action sniper rifle called the Stair Scout Rifle. And if you've ever wanted to bring out your inner Arnold Schwarzenegger in Trinaris, you should be able to hopefully soon with the addition of the M249 LMG. And last up, maybe the most controversial weapon concept in Daisy Standalone the M72 Law rocket launcher. So vehicles, campers, snipers, watch out because you might see a Bambi running at you with a rocket launcher very soon in Daisy standalone. All right, with the addition of 0.60, we should see a few big changes to the central loot economy as well. Uh, the Daisy dev team has made it very clear that they're focused on eliminating seeing you know, the same items over and over in the same building and uh, moving more towards a goal of dynamic representation of loot spread across the map as a whole really. And uh, another addition we should see very soon is the chance of random attachments spawning along with the weapon. So handguards, uh, optics, buttstocks, or even magazines will all eventually have a chance to spawn with a particular weapon within the, the central hive that we have now, which would be very similar to kind of how the vehicles spawn right now in Trenaris. 
And last but not least, the main event for 0.60, and really the reason why this might be the biggest patch ever in DayZ standalone, is the implementation of the new renderer, the DirectX 11. This will definitely be out for 0.60, so expect to see a huge amount of players coming back to play in DayZ, which even the devs are expecting, because they have confirmed that there will be even more experimental servers to, to play on than usual. Uh, and with the addition of the new renderer, expect to see a massive FPS increase for every type of PC out there and we'll also be getting a really nice graphics update which should be pretty cool and with the new renderer all the environmental effects will now be possible so expect to see you know a lot of fog in certain areas and uh, some really cool uh, updated rain effects as well to really bring out that that post-apocalyptic feel even more to Daisy Stanlow but anyways you guys I hope you did enjoy the video if you did make sure to drop a like on the video and uh, I know myself I'm really really excited for 0.60 so I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of some of the changes that we should be because I am super, super excited, you guys. But anyways, you guys, I will talk to you all very soon.